Hey, Shalom, I'm Mark Yenzer, Rakhama Kapash from Jimmy's London, giving all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rakhah Wadash. When I give double honors unto the elders, the apostles, the GMS, and Shalom, out there to the hopeful that's pushing his truth in all sincerity. Back again with another video. Uh, I'm going to entitle this one, Your Chariot Awaits. You know, so, you know, we hope, or we of the hopeful elect, you know, hope they will be delivered, man, in these things that. You know, the world calls UFOs and, and, and whatever, right? And but for us, in order to, to do that, you know, brothers have got to keep the faith and enjoy until the end and, and do this work, you know? And if you do these things, then, you know, you, you, you will be, will, will, uh, be a part of the elect, man, and, which means we're going to be delivered from the judgment the Lord is going to bring upon this place, man. Like I said, we're going to get beamed up, you know, brothers across the world, man. We're going to get beamed up into chariots, man, you know, and be changed. Okay, and we're gonna return with the Lord, man. Okay, and and put things in order on the earth. Okay, set these people in order. Okay, <laughs> which means putting you in chains, man. Right, and punishing you for your for your for your iniquities, man. Um, so yeah, no, I just want to get you know into this a little bit, and um, you know, a little bit shouldn't be a long video. Uh, but I'm gonna start off here in First Thessalonians chapter four, verse seventeen, and it just states here. So then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with, with them in the clouds. Okay, with who? With Yahweh Shai and the angels. Because Yahweh Shai and the angels are gonna crack them crack them skies, man, crack them clouds. Right? Just before America is about to be destroyed. And the Lord is gonna deliver the elect out of the land of America. Okay, before it's destroyed. Okay, and everybody in the land of America is gonna be killed, destroyed, right? And the elect are gonna be delivered from it. Okay, getting beamed up, right? So then, we, uh, then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds, to meet the Lord in the air. So shall we ever be with the Lord? We're always gonna be with the Lord, man. You know, thousand years and beyond, right? It ain't gonna be a time when we're not with the Lord. The Lord ain't with us, man. You know. And the apostles say, man, ain't gonna be no coup d'état, man. And he's still gonna uprise and 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 and, and, and do the most again. <laughs> it ain't happening Right we're, we're always going to be with the Lord Right So wherefore Comfort one another With these words Right So like I said man Our, our hope is, is To get the hell out of here man To be For our, for our, for our works To be recognised and, and, and for the Lord To deliver us From this judgement man, and, and you know Deliver us in these chariots These are the, are the vehicles of, of, our, of our salvation man You know While the, the Mosai Is judging this place Okay, so our hope is to is to get deliver that on one of those. Okay, what the world calls UFOs and UAPs and, and whatever, man. All right, like I said, you know we are enduring to the end, uh, you know, to be in order to be able to be delivered in one of those. You know. Second Peter chapter one and verse ten says, "Wherefore the rather brethren give diligence to make your calling and election sure." For if you do these things, you shall never fail. Right? So all these things that are written, okay, we're meant to uh, uh, apply them, okay, to ourselves and to the, the world around us, man. Okay, this isn't just a storybook, right? A lot of Christians just, just pick this up, pick, you know, pick this book up and it's like a storybook to them, man. They've got no connection with this book whatsoever, man. You know, they don't understand it. Okay, these are things that, you know, that we're meant to be learning and applying it to ourselves, man, to make sure that, you know, we're as, you know, as, as you know, I don't want to use the term good, but we, so we can be as good as we can be. Because we're not going to be perfect in this side, man. We're still in this, in this sack of flesh, man, this flesh of wickedness, right? So we're still going to do things wrong, but, you know, knowing these scriptures and applying these scriptures to yourself is going to make you better, okay? More, more uh, uh, acceptable in the eyes of the Heavenly Father, you know? So yeah, it says, uh, Wherefore the rather, brethren, keep, give, give diligence to make your calling and election sure. For if you do these things, you shall never fail. Right? For so... Oh, okay. So for, for so an entrance shall be ministered unto you abundantly in the everlasting kingdom of our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai Mashiach. Alright? So here, yeah, we do all these things that are commanded of us, man. You know, and do it to the end. You know, in faith, in sincerity. You know, we're going to be delivered, man. 
This is Matthew 24 verse 31 And he shall send his angels with a great sound of a trumpet And they shall gather together his elect From the four winds From one end of the heaven to the other Right The angels are going to get sent forth Okay They're going to be out in their chariots Okay Picking up the elect Wherever they are on the earth Because we scattered Right We ain't just in one place We ain't just in America man you got those America only Israelites, <laughs> Negro only Israelites, and all this kind of business, right? No, the elect are scattered throughout the whole earth, right? But a large portion of, of, of us are in the land of America, man. Okay, it's a major part in prophecy. Okay, America is going to be that place that's going to receive that major judgment that's written in the scriptures, right? So, the, so a great deliverance is going to take place in that land, you know? But you know, Israel is scattered, the elect are scattered, man. And so we're going to be taken for wherever we are on earth and you know whatever um uh situations that we find ourselves in in, in these latter days man okay we're going to be taken up it's first corinthians chapter 9 verse 24 it says know ye not, not that they which run run it run it, sorry know ye not that they which run in a race run all but one receiveth the prize so run that ye may obtain okay we we have to run and, and believe that you know we can be delivered we can be saved you know no matter how, how you know how much of a fuck up we are you know how you feel you know how you, how, how you is man you know we don't have no confidence in the flesh you know we don't believe in ourselves and you know we you know because satan's always going to be on your shoulder you know causing you doubt and most of that doubt is is is, is about yourself man you know, we don't doubt the power of the Heavenly Father. We don't doubt that He can save, man. Right? But we got to believe He can save us. Despite our flaws. Okay? D despite our negativity that, you know, brothers, you know, go through sometimes, man. Okay? We got to believe that He can deliver us. That He will deliver us. You know, from, from, from our time of trouble. Right? Because that is the only thing that, that can possibly save us in this time, you know, in the time of trouble that we're going to find ourselves in, man. Okay, we ain't going to be delivering ourselves, man. Okay, no way in hell. You know, we're going to need miracles, man. We're going to need the power of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh to deliver us from, from these evils, man. And we have to believe that the Lord will do that for us, man. All right? So that every man that strives for the mastery is temperate in all things. Nay, and now they do it to obtain a corruptible crown, but we an incorruptible yeah, people go hard in this world, man, to receive some consolation prize, man. Because this place is gonna get burnt out, so it's nothing but a consolation prize. They think that's the goal. They think that's the, the greatest prize that they can they can uh, obtain. Is something that you know belongs in this world, but this world, the fashion of this world, passes away. Right. So it's temporary. But the things that we run after, the things that you know, the, our goals, right? Things that we're we're uh, trying to obtain are immortal, man. They're eternal. Because they're with the Heavenly Father, man. Okay, his kingdom and his glory is going to be offered to those that, you know, pass his, <laughs> passes his tests, man. You know, these trials and tribulations. You know, and that's what we're concerned about. That's what we want to obtain, man. Which is greater than anything, you know, this world has to offer, man. Now, come on, man. Immortality, spiritual powers, man. Wealth beyond imagine. The women and... <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm thinking about that scene at 300. <laughs> you know, I forget the guy's name, the, 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 the deformed Spartan, and the uh, Xerxes was offering, offering him everything, man. You know, the women, the riches, you know. Yeah, well, the Most High offering us everything, man. Everything we could desire, the Most High is, 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 is happy to give it to his elect, man. You know, Yahweh Shai, who, who, who he's getting first, right, is happy to share what he's been given by the Heavenly Father, man. You know, because this is his kingdom. It's Yahweh Shai's kingdom. It's given to him by, by the Heavenly Father, man. Okay? But Yahweh Shai is going to share it with his brethren, man. He's going to share it with his elect. You know? So the Lord is offering us everything that we could ever want, man. Right? Peace. Peace. Oh. Man, you can't buy peace, man. Even these, these rich ass assholes. <laughs> you know, Jake. You know, got all this money, man. But they ain't, they ain't at peace, man. Man, they're running down the street from the woman and shit, man. Man, they're getting sued. Man, they're they getting cheated on. Man, they, babies are getting aborted. You know, their babies are getting aborted and shit. You know, they, they're being defamed, uh, uh, you know, by the media and all this kind of shit. Man, there ain't no fucking peace in this place, man. 
You know, niggas are still fucking dying, fucking diseases and diabetes and cancers and shit, man. You know, there's no peace in this place, man. You can't buy peace, man. The most are going to give us peace. Right? He going to make us righteous, man. We're going to be at peace with our, with our own selves, man. Yeah? The money can't, can't do shit about any of that. You know, the most are going to offer us everything, man. And we're going we to be given the, the ability to enjoy it all. Okay, with no worry, no stress. You know? Verse 26, I, I therefore so run, not as uncertainly. Because you got to be sure, man. You're going you gonna to run this race? You're going to participate in this race? You better be sure, man. And that's, you know, it makes you think about the other scripture about uh, counting the costs. You, got, you better believe, man. You have to believe. If you're going to run, run this race, prepare thyself for temptation, you know? Will now come to service the Lord. You gotta know, you gotta believe that the most high is that He is. You know? So we run this race with certainty. We know that the end. The end is here, the end is coming. We see it, we see it in our sights. Okay, we're getting closer to that to that uh 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 finish line. You know? Some of us have been running this race longer than others, you know. But we all see this the, the finish line in sight. I mean, all we gotta do is make it, man. Don't give up, man. You don't let Satan throw you off your game. Keep running. Keep running, man. We're so close now. You don't don't bug out. You know, <laughs> shit, man. You're gonna have to hold hold shit, hold your shit down. Keep your shit wired tight, right? The, 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 you know, the bunch of bug outs. The, these these men are waxing worse and worse, man. You see it in these other camps, man. You see it in these other camps, man. They're waxing worse and worse. They ain't gonna fucking make it, man. You know, we gotta just stay focused, man. Okay, we're almost there. Okay. So I therefore so run, not as uncertainly, so fight. I not as one that beateth the air, but I keep under my body and bring it into subjection, least that by any means when I have preached to others, I myself should be a castaway. And we need, that's what we need to make sure, man. We're gonna make sure that ourselves we're not castaways. You know, you don't wanna be out here teaching this truth, man, and you know. You're teaching others, man. And they're getting it, and and, and the Lord's sealing them, and and they got the spirit to to endure until the end. But you you don't fucking you don't have the same fucking spirit, man. And you don't make you don't you want to you don't want to be that guy. You know you don't want to be that guy. You know, and and there's plenty of examples out there for you to see. You don't want to be that guy, man. You know all these so-called great teachers of the past and then they're trying to come back in the game and you know yeah you might you might have taught people and 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 given them the truth like nate for instance he he, he he taught the name he gave people the name and you know edify, edify lessons right but look man he, he look, look at him now he, he he basically a reprobate man for the pride and the arrogancy he ain't nothing but a castaway you don't want to be that guy you know It's Matthew chapter 24 verse 13 But he that shall endure unto the end The same shall be saved Right so we Like I said We gotta make it to the end man We gotta keep running You know We gotta keep, keep running man And you know at, at, at last um, You know in these marathons and that You know You take a steady pace man So you, you know you can make it You know So you make it You don't sprint from the fucking beginning You know Cause you ain't gonna fucking make it You're gonna burn yourself out You know There's a plan There's, there's, there's you know A steady pace you need to keep you know, but even at the end, man, pick up the pace. You know, because now it's all or nothing, man. Like the end is in sight, and you know, like you got, you know, certain amount of energy in the tank, man. You better fucking use it because you don't want to lose the race. You know, because you've been keeping, you know, keeping pace with the rest of the pack and that. You, you know, you're planning, you're planning. Yeah, I'm gonna, at this moment, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put the turbos on. I'm gonna speed, speed past these guys. Yeah. Well, that's how it's gotta be for us, man. We're getting so close to end, man. It's, you know, we gotta push. We gotta push harder, man. Towards that finish line You know uh, It's the wisdom of Solomon chapter 5 verse 2 So when they uh, Let me start from the top 
So then shall the righteous man stand in great boldness before the of the before the face of such as have afflicted him and made no account of his labours. When they see it, they should be troubled with terrible fear and shall be amazed at the strangeness of his salvation. It's like it's so far beyond all that they look for, right? Like I said, man, when these chariots roll up, okay, these people are gonna be fucking the jaw, the jaws gonna drop to the floor, man, and they're gonna be seeing seeing these uh, these 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 uh, these Jake getting beamed up, you know, and they're thinking like, I have anybody like it should be us, right? No, it shouldn't be these guys, but you know, it, it is what it is at the end of the day. We've been telling you who the law is coming for. He ain't coming for the, for the whole world. He ain't coming for everybody. He definitely ain't coming off for fucking no Edomites. You know, we told you this, right? So it ain't going to be no surprise to us, but you're going to be fucking flabbergasted, man. You know, but this is what we're expecting. This is what we're hoping for, man, that we are part of the elect and the Lord are going to send his angels to, to, to pick us up, fucking, you know, express Uber <laughs> out of this place, man. You know? It was Uber Celestial. <laughs> you, you, Uber X and executive, you know, executive. Now we're going to get the Uber Celestial, man. <laughs> you know? We're gonna get taken up out of this bitch, man. Okay, why you why you there? Why you burning and, and and screaming and crying? But it says here, and they repenting and groaning for anguish. You're gonna you're gonna be in, you're gonna be in anguish, man. <laughs> you're gonna be in anguish, man. And we're gonna be fucking praising the Lord, man. Praising the Lord, like crying. <laughs> we're gonna be crying and shit. We're gonna be praising the Lord, you know. Yeah, and then when we compose ourselves, man, we're gonna look down upon you, fuckers, man. And glory in, in the destruction that the Most High bring upon you, man. <laughs> You're going to be celebrating, you know? <laughs> yeah, and they repenting and groaning for anguish of spirit, shall say with themselves, This was he who we had sometime in, in derision and a proverb of reproach. All right? Yeah, man. Hey, if one shit, hey, we ain't say, you know, hey, these Christians, man, they keep talking about oh, oh I'm saved I'm saved I'm being baptized with the, with, the, with, the, with the water or blood of Jesus and da, da, da. you ain't been saved from shit and you're about to find out man we won't know we say we're on the fucking chariot man <laughs> we're gonna know for sure then right we're gonna know for sure then you hear you Christians ain't gonna be on one right you, you fake ass Christians you know you Jesus <laughs> JC lovers <laughs> all right um oh damn we're in that time um <laughs> It's supposed to be short. Well, you know, I'll get into it. <laughs> uh, it's Second Ezra chapter two, verse forty-five. Uh, I'm gonna get from there. Verse 42, I, Ezra, saw upon the Mount Zion a great people who I could not number, and they all praised the Lord with songs. As I said, we're going to praise the Lord, man. We were praising the Lord hard in that day, man, for sure. <laughs> you know, for sure. And in the midst of them, there were, was a young man of, of a high stature, taller than all the rest. And upon every one of their heads, he set crowns and was more exalted, which I marveled at greatly. So I asked the angel and sir, I said, Sir, what are these? And the answer said unto me, These be they that are put off the mortal clothing and put on the immortal. And like I said, when we get beamed up, we're going to be changed, man. Because this flesh can't inherit the, the, the kingdom. Right? So we're going to be changed, man. We're going to be made perfect in the sight <laughs> in the sight of everything, right? Everyone, all the heathen. We're going to be sanctified, right? And we're going to be made perfect. We're going to be made into, into gods, right? When we, when we return with Yahweh, we're going to come back with that power, man. All right? So then put, the, put on the immortal and have confessed the name of the of the Most High and his son, right? Yahweh, why Yahweh Shai? Now are they crowned and receive palms. They're honored and, and glorified, man. All right? And that's what we want. Okay, we don't want to fail. We don't want to fail at this, man. Because that would be a damn fucking shame. You know, getting this close, getting this far. You know, however long your brother's been in this truth, man. Okay, you don't want to get this far, man, and fuck up. You know, that would be a damn shame, man. You man, you to, man, you'd have to hang your head low. Like a lot of these Israelites are gonna do. Okay, after after they've been destroyed and come back and they can be hanging their head fucking low, man. You know, that's something they're gonna have to bear. You know? But the elect, like I said, they're gonna be honored, you know, exalted, man. You know? They can hold their head up high because they stood stiffly for the name of Yahweh Wa Yahweh Shai. 
here and that's what we want. That's how we, you know, and even, even, even if we have to go out, you don't get put to death, man. That's how we want to go out, man. Standing stiffy for the name, for the names, you know. That's how we want to go out. If we got to go out, that's how we want to go out. You know? So so we you know so we can you know be honored and glorified by the heavenly father man you know it says I then said I unto the angel what young person is it that crowneth them and giveth them palms in their hands so he answered and said unto unto me it is the son of God Yahweh Shai whom they have confessed in the world who are confessing Yahweh Shai in the world who 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 pushing this truth man the truth. Beginning about elders and apostles of GMS, man. The brothers out there on the highways and the hedges, man. Putting up innumerable amount of videos on the internet, man. Flooding this shit, man. You know? So then began I greatly to commend them that stood so stiffly for the name of the Lord. Admiration. So, you know, be, you know being commended is, you know. You want to receive admiration, man. That's that on that, right? So that's what we want, man. Okay, so we we you know we got to carry ourselves with with uh uh uh, uh no with honor, you know. Pride in in a righteous sense in what we do. You know, teaching this truth in the name of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai. You know. I may cut this short because I'm I am running out of time, so I'm not going to grab all these scriptures that I got here lined up. But um, let's see. Let me get the, let me get these these two right. Revelation 18 and four. Let me jump on to 15 afterwards. I think that was there, right? So, uh, Revelation 18, chapter four. And I heard out of a voice from heaven saying, Come out of her, my people, that ye be not partakers of her sins, and that ye receive not of her plagues, right? Because, like I said, we don't want to go out like, like the rest of our people are going to go out and, and, and these heathens are going to go out, man. All right? We want to be honored and, and glorified. We want to, you know, we want to see, the, you know, uh, uh, what's the word I'm looking for, man? The glory, man. We want to, we want to receive that, man. We don't want to be, you know, dishonored. Like, I'm trying to think. There's a word I want to use, man. My library's not working right now. My, my dictionary's not working right now, right? So, you know, we want to, you know, I said we want to, we want to be on the good side of the heavenly Father, man. That's what we want. You know, that's what we want, man. You know, we want to be, you know, proven worthy, man. You know, we don't, we don't want to be ashamed. Cause it, right now in the flesh, you feel ashamed, man. Like you know, you know, you, you're a fuck up, man. <laughs> we all fuck ups. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We're all fuck ups, man. And you know, to have to to receive the approval of your Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, man, means everything. And that's what we want, man. You know, that's what we want. You know, I'm thinking about it now, man. Man, I get emotional. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But that's what we want, man. We want that approval, man. You know, like like some want approval of his father, man. That's what we want, man. You know, or in, in this case as well, in, uh, us being the wife of Yahweh Shai, we want that approval, man. You know, need that approval. You know, All right. So, uh, we'll close out on this Revelation fifteen and, and two. Uh. Let me just start from the top, right? And I saw another sign in heaven, great and marvelous, seven angels having the seven last plagues, for in them is filled up the wrath of God. And I saw, as it were, a sea of glass mingled with fire, and them that had gotten the victory over the beast, over the, over his image, and over his mark, and over the number of his name, stand on the sea of glass having the harps of God. Like I said, we're going to be up there, man, out, out in the, the atmosphere, in the chariots, looking down, on the judgment of the of the Mosai upon America, we will be watching that man, right? And we're gonna be celebrating. And like I said, after we got, you know got our composure, <laughs> you know, because we we gonna be we gonna be the yeah, yeah man yeah we gonna be it's gonna be crazy, right? But we are gonna look down on the judgment man and and thank you, Abba Shemayim Shai, man. The Lord delivered delivered us, man. You know, while the earth burns, you know, it's gonna be crazy, man. 
You know, and I said, it, 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 them have gotten the victory. You're going to be celebrating, man. That's what you do when you win. <laughs> That's what you do when you win. You celebrate. You know? That's what we're going to do, man. Right? And, and, and in a way, we're kind of celebrating already because we know this is the end. We know, we know this is the outcome. These heathens ain't going to fucking win, man. <laughs> you know? We know the elect are going to be delivered, man. We know this this is the end of this world. So we're, we're, we're waiting... We're waiting the celebration, man. But we can already feel it in the spirit, man. We already know, <laughs> right? This is um, stand on the sea of glass, having the harps of God. Man, yeah, and they sing the song of Moses, the song of the Most High, and the song of the Lamb, saying, "Great and marvelous are thy works, Lord God Almighty. Just and true are thy thy ways, thou King of Saints." Because the Lord kept. Uh, 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 Oh crap The, the Lord was uh, uh, good to his word man Everything he told us man That's what that's what he did That's what he What he said he would do He done it You know He said he wouldn't leave us Leave us out there <laughs> In the cold forever Right He wouldn't bring us back He did that man You know He did that And we're going to be praising him man, for, for, for keeping his word man Keeping his promise to 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 us and our forefathers, man. You know, that that our enemies are gonna be taken down. Yeah, how is I gonna make them his footstool? <laughs> you know, we're gonna put 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 our enemies underneath us, man. You know, because that's what you know, that's what we're all waiting for. That's what we're expecting. You know, this is um. So uh, just and true are thy thy ways, thou King of Saints. Who shall not fear thee, O Lord, and glorify thy name? No one could tell us, man, that the name is not important. Nobody. Right? Not even the great Nathaniel. On his Pegasus horse. <laughs> you know? He says, uh, For thou only art holy, for all nations shall come and worship before thee, and thy judgments are made manifest. And, that, and that's that's the thing. That's that's our science. The, the the prophecies, the manifestation of the prophecies are our science, man. That's what keeps us going. <laughs> you know, it's what gets us up in the morning, <laughs> knowing that prophecy is, is is at work out here, man. And things are coming to pass, man. That keeps us going, man. Keeps us in the race. Motivates us, you know. Keeps us ticking over. You know, the vision f doesn't fail. It's not failing us, man. We see it. All right. So we just wait for the um, uh, the conclusion of all of it, you know. And and we'll be here, Lord willing, as long as it takes, you know. Where is it, uh, you know? Next year, two years from now, three years from whatever, whatever it may be, man. Lord willing, it ain't that long, man. But we, you know, Lord willing, we'll be here for as long as it takes, man. Because we, because what we was, what we, uh, what was we told to endure until the end, man. And whenever that, whenever the end is, that's where we want to be. However long that is away, <laughs> you know what I'm saying. You know, obviously we hasten the day, man. We want to get, we want to get out of here ASAP. This guy's gonna hit my car if he comes back anymore, man. You better have fucking sensors on this car. <laughs> you know, we, hey, hey, like I said, man. You know, Lord willing, man, we gonna enjoy into the end, man. A chariot awaits, man. Right. We just need to focus on getting, getting there. You know, making sure we we last. You know. That we get there, man. Right? And we get to see all this happen. We get, <laughs> we get the best seats in the house, man. You know? But you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna end it there. Uh, I need to get, get on the fucking plantation now. So yeah, I'll catch you brothers and sisters on the next video. Lord Willis has been edifying. And I'll catch you brothers and sisters on the next video, man. Shut up one.